Okay, they have a new version of the HCS voice packs and plugins. Uh, this new version will require you to totally remove the voice packs and the plugins, uh, clean out the directories, and then reinstall them fresh. Unfortunately, because of the uh, condition of the update, uh, you couldn't uh, patch it like you could previously. So, I'm sure everybody knows now how to uninstall your programs from Windows. You can use one of my previous videos that show you how to do that. And once you install it, you should be up to, as of today's date, uh, you have uh, plugin 2.11 and Singularity version 1.1. I am running Voice Attack 1.7 that is supported by HCS um, as of now. And if you have any problems, again, just come over to Discord for HCS and I'm sure somebody will help you out. As you can see, the customizer has been broken down into different areas. Uh, they have uh, profile tweaks, crew tweaks, keyboard, and helpful links. So in the uh, general profile marks, um, they're basically the same as before, but in comms messages, they have added in uh, commands for your wings. So you can send standard greetings, whatever you have typed here, you just say send standard uh, wing one, send standard wing two, and whatever you have typed here, you'll type in the chat. So it makes it easier to communicate with your wings. The other thing in extra content it now has a thing to turn on your quantum theory, your Galaxypedia, Chit Chat, Constellations, uh, Profane, Stars and Planets as before, but now you can go in here and select these so you don't have to actually say it in game. Uh, previously you had to say the command like invoke or uh, turn on Galaxypedia or enable Galaxypedia. Now you just check this and now it's on. And remember, your voice pack has to support these different features. If you check them on and your voice pack doesn't support them, it won't, uh, you won't hear anything. Most voice packs do have some kind of uh, Galaxypedia or Quantum Theory, or it's coming soon. Another one is Crew Favorites. You select that, and in here you have 10 save slots, and you can send save up to 10 different crews and you would select whatever crew members you want for that slot. For example, here's number three. I have nothing selected, so I'm just going to randomly pick a bunch of people out of my voice packs that are installed and go from there. So, with that being saved, I'll hit Apply. Now, if I say assign uh, favorite crew number one, this is the crew that will be in, on that ship. Number two, number three, and it changes depending on what you have saved. This comes in handy if you're streaming and you want a crew that doesn't uh, swear at you. And uh, you can easily set that up. This is not to a specific ship. It will go to all ships, depending on what crew you have. And it makes it a little easier to organize your crew. The other new feature here is in the uh, missing keybind report. You click this button here and it will come up and tell you if you have any missing keybinds. It no longer writes a text file to your desktop. Unfortunately, uh, if you have a lot of missing keybinds, this is difficult to read and there's no way you can cut and paste this. I've been told by the developers in a future build they'll add a button here you can click and it will make you a text file. One of the cooler features that they have added is a way to back up and import your settings for the customizer. So once you make all your settings, you would hit this button here and it will generate this file. And this allows you to uh, save your uh, settings, whatever you have set up. And then later, say you install on a different machine or a new install or something like that, you easily just hit import settings, find your file, import it, and all your settings will be the way you want. And finally, the last new feature is this check for updates button. Click that and it will check to see if your version of your voice packs or plugin are up to date. If they are up to date, you'll get this message. If they are not, they'll tell you that they are not. And then you simply just log on to your send out account and download your new updates. Okay, so that wraps up some of the new changes that they've done in the customizer. Everything seems to be working normally. There might be a bug or two. They're tracking them down. And remember, this is still in beta. So if you have any issues, please 
go to the HCS Discord or go to the HCS user forums and post your problem. Someone will be sure to get back and help you. If you have any questions of me, um, please post in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thanks and I'll see you out in the universe. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to support this channel and see more videos like that, please subscribe. It really does help out. And that will be it. And I'll see you out in the universe.